Today is December 1st, 2020, and this will be a good year to get past. Um, and, you know, our latest kink, which affects COM317, is that, um, well, it's something we've known is coming for a long time. Adobe has killed off the Flash player and Flash uh, support programs, uh, which are used in a lot of interactive media or have been over the years. It's not compatible with future coding in documents. So it's been, actually it's been slated for uh, the dustbin for three years and it actually kicks in at the end of this month, which means that everything we've built using Flash uh, and all of the project demos that we've made using Flash are about to vanish off the face of the earth. In other words, we're not going to be able to use them at all. Now, the materials that we've made or that I have made for Project 5 to demonstrate how to embed a PDF into, no, let me say that again, how to embed a video into a PDF uh, is Flash-based technology. And with Flash going away, it means that you know, it's got to change. There does not seem to be a good substitute yet from anybody that we've found. Um, and a lot of that's because of, you know, new media, new, you know, uh, streaming services, so on and so forth. So there's lots of other ways to do similar things, but none of it's quite as simple as what we have been doing. Anyway, um, as an example, I'm going to show you, this is an old Project 5 from a few semesters ago by a brilliant student, and here's the video on her page six. Now, if I click on this to play it, I get this warning up here saying, to view the Flash technology content, please install the required Flash player. Now, like I say, that doesn't exist anymore. So this just is kaput. So we have to find an alternative. So what the alternative is going to be is building Project 5 just as you would with anything else, but instead of placing the or embedding the video into the PDF, either within Acrobat or within InDesign, we're just going to place a thumbnail or a placeholder image that will become a button that when you click, the button will activate a URL, a new window in a browser will pop open and play the video that is hosted like in YouTube or Vimeo or wherever it may live. So that's the plan. And so to do that, uh, it's actually pretty simple. We'll get, just go back into InDesign here, and here's a page. I'm going to go ahead and place some words. Let's see, I'll use words for a rubric. Now, this is all stuff you already know. You're supposed to, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and just place these words for a rubric. There they are, and I'll just you know move this box up to there. Now I'm going to place, well, what I want to do is place this video. This is called Make 7 Up Yours. It's an advertisement from way back when. It's an MP4. But the MP4 is what's not is not going to play. I can preview it here really quick. Yeah. There's a little volume for you. All right. So anyway, that's the video. We can't use it. So I'm going to instead place a screenshot that I made of the video uh, and that's here it's a PNG I'm just gonna hit open and I'll just click it there I'll shrink it down a little bit and this again is supposed to fit the design that you've made for your project so that's a different discussion but here with this screenshot made it's selected I've got my bounding box around it you can see it I'm now going to go up to um, Object, and I'm going to go to Interactive, and I'm going to convert this to a button. Now, some of these other things may work also, but I'm going to convert it to a button, and that's going to take this image, and it'll give me the, the ability to go over to my Buttons and Forms window that I can access by going to Window, Buttons and Forms. Uh, and I'm going to name this, well, it's Button 3. The event, On Release or Tap, that means that it, the video will or the link will activate when you 
tap it on a touchpad or uh, release the mouse after clicking. Um, some of these things are kind of tricky. So on click is kind of annoying. On roll over I find incredibly annoying. So don't do that. Just go with on release or tap. And when you on release or tap it, um, we need to tell it what to do. So what it's going to do, we have to add an action here. I'm going to click on the plus sign and we'll go to a URL, okay? So go to URL and here's a little window where I'm going to type in what I want that URL to be. Now I've already opened up a, or set up a website. Let me see, where is it? I want my browser to open up here. There it is. Okay, so I've got the video already loaded in to uh, a YouTube page. Now, so this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to have your video already uploaded to a YouTube channel or some sort of server. So you're going to have to do that. Uh, but here, I can just go ahead and copy my URL. I'm going to hit Command-C to do that. I'm going to go back to InDesign here. And I'm just going to paste that URL into this window where it says it. Okay. And now all I have to do is click off and save my document. And just for grins, I'm going to go ahead and export it as a PDF. I'm going to export it as an interactive PDF. I'm going to call this video embed demo 1C. Actually, embed's not the right word. I'm going to call it button add. You'll figure it out. All right, I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to just go ahead and accept the defaults here. It's telling me I did some things wrong. But here we have it. Here's my open PDF. I can click on this. It links to the YouTube page, and now I can watch the video. So it's a clunky workaround, absolutely. But uh, it beats having a video that doesn't play at all. And that's how we've set it up. It's got to change. Um, so again, if your flash is working for the short term, you're fine. But moving forward, we're going to have to not do it. So again, in recap, set in InDesign, put a image, a screenshot image of your video in the page location where your video should play. Then convert that image to an object then assign the action in buttons to open a URL when it's clicked. And that'll take you to the YouTube page. Okay, clunky it is, but that's what we got for now. Uh, good luck.